Welcome to the 10 Minute Treasure. My name is Chef Pospisil. And in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the struggles of being an accountant for a nonprofit, and that is collecting receipts. So that and maybe a secondary one is getting a bill to pay something. Um, and I know, yeah, that, that has always been one of the struggles. And I hate hounding people, but if I can make it easier, and one of the nice things is QuickBooks Online, they do have a feature that will hopefully make it easier for us to go ahead and um, collect those receipts or collect those bills electronically. So I don't have to hound somebody to stop by the office or drop it in my inbox or whatever. So let me go ahead and show you. All right, so here I am. I'm right on the QuickBooks Online dashboard. And let's go ahead and go to banking. Under banking, there's receipts. And I have that bookmarked actually, so I could have just went to my bookmark section. And you're gonna see we can upload from computer, upload from Google Drive, or manage forwarding email. And I'm just gonna do upload from computer. So if you had like a shared, um, well, you could even just have a, people forward their receipts right to you, but you could have a shared Dropbox file and you can then just upload them right from there. And it'll go ahead and process. Let me show you the manage forwarding email. So you could set up an email address that people could forward receipts or bills to. But the catch with this is that the, the senders have to be paid for users. So if you're like me and you're on QuickBooks Online Plus, you only get five users. So this would be a short list of people that you would trust to actually email into uh, QuickBooks. So let me show you what that looks like. Oh, let me type that in. There it is, UMGMC receipt. And I'm gonna go ahead and email in the Secretary of State annual report. Drop that in there and send it. And that might take a little bit longer to process. The other one was pretty quick. Um, let's go ahead and go over to it. So here's the one, I, I just uploaded an old uh, invoice from me. And let's go ahead and review it. And you see right away that it popped up as bill, which is good because this is something I haven't paid yet. So I would wanna create a bill from this. Um, it didn't find out who the payee is, but it did uh, see I, if it was something already paid, I would have used receipt. So if you have a church credit card connected, or if you have, um, or if you pay it electronically through your checking account, ACH, that'd be fine. So I can go ahead and type that in. You can see it has the invoice date in there. It also has the invoice number in there. It didn't do the due date hundred percent correctly, but that is what it is but it did get the amount correctly, although it didn't do the accounting uh, account. I, if I would have had a default account set up for JCT accounting, maybe it would have. And then it, once I get to the very bottom, I could either save, but um, I don't want to create another bill right now, so I'm just gonna hit delete. It would have created it otherwise. All right, and now my other one from the Secretary of State, you can see it's popped up already. And let's go ahead and I'm just looking to see what that does. If you hover over this, look, you can see what's actually there, first of all. So that's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and go ahead to review this. And I have this one set up as a receipt. And it's cool, it picked that up already because it says receipt on there. So I actually paid this one electronically. And so they're asking, what account did I pay it out of? Well, the main checking. And there's the transaction date. Um, if there is a reference number, so I could actually type that in there, uh, but it did get the amount right, it, and it didn't get the it didn't get the account right, but that's understandable. And I'm gonna so if I collect it, if I hit save and close, it'll match it up to an actual bank transaction. So it'll it'll combine this support with that actual transaction, but I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna click. To delete it so it sets it up as an expense under this um, under the expenditure so I don't know if you know this there's three different types you can do a check you can do a bill or you can do an expense I might link to that video that's a good um, reminder on how you can do things anyway all 
All right, I hope that helps. This just gives you just one more tool when you're dealing with uh, volunteers often, or maybe it is ministry staff, that are maybe struggling to get their receipts in, or they're struggling to get a bill to you. So now they know that maybe you can set them up to actually email it right into QuickBooks, or you could set up a Google Drive folder, or you could set up a Dropbox folder and just have them put it right in there. So anyway, I hope this helps. And until next time, God bless.